Well, I'm saying um, when you look at the stuff in here, uh, before you start out on this um, video in here, uh, I got the video in here. Um, this will teach you how to do Vegas Sony Pro 9.0. What you got to do in here, I'm going to show you guys in a second. Um, right now, I'm clicking down to VM, uh, VMware Fusion 3.0 right now to look at it. And make sure this is you have Windows XP when you do this. It will work for all the Windows systems. This is Sony Vegas 9.0. And what you gotta do in here, make sure if you got an Easy Cap video capture card or any video capture card, um, this is for the Easy Cap settings I'm doing for. Um, make sure you had the original file that you did on your Easy Cap or your video format you done. Don't put in any editing programs yet, but you can also edit in here in the Sony Vegas Pro either way or any other video program. But just do this first to make the video high quality in HD. You can make these, you're going to make them into 720 HD. But I've done a video from this back about two or three weeks ago, and the video quality came out pretty awesome. And what I'm showing you here right now, I'm looking at right now in this thing. And yeah, and right now I'm clicking on here to do this right now. Plus, it's pretty awesome what I'm doing. But what do they do these things? But the video and your uh, quality would improve when you do it. Right now I'm clicking on the event, the event pan crop. Usually when you set that up in there. Um, yeah. Right now, I'm opening up the video file. This is where you got to open up your original video file. And make sure you open that up when you do this. Go to the event pan crop. And right now, I'm showing you how to do adjustments. This is on default settings. But you can also go to 16.9 in here when you click it on here. When I'm doing it right now. The 16.9, you click that on there. Or either way, you can adjust the, the little bar things you see here when I'm showing you right here. And once you do that, you'll be able to be, do, be ready to go. Because that's how you do that. So I'm going to another thing. I'll click, um, make sure you set things to none. But if you want to do it this way to add this. But every time you have to do this, you have to set this all the time. Or it'll still be in the s s savings. Go to Event FX. Double click on, just to click on it. And right now... I just clicked on it and make sure you add these things in here in the list you see in here make sure you add uh, coloration color curves make sure you add um, saturation and make sure you add uh, sharpness you'll see the ones I'm clicking on right now see that's what you do make sure you add those And I'm showing you how to add it right now. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding the last thing in a second. And I'm just explaining all the thing in the video and stuff. I know it's a long video. But yeah, I didn't forgot to turn on my audio system. But now I did on this. So um, yeah, see where I'm clicking on uh, Sony Sharpen? Make sure you add that. Then once you do that, um, just hit OK. Uh, make sure you hit OK. I know this thing is some time. And what I'm doing right now. Yeah, now I'm hitting OK. See, the adjustments you have to do these things. See, each of these things are added right there when you see them. You, don't, you just click on them and do the adjustments. I'm showing you how you adjust the colors. And... When you do adjustment in the colors and stuff, look at the video on your right side of the screen. And also, look, yeah, and also I'm showing you how this thing, you can also have it set in your settings here, like on top. See what I'm saying? You can keep those settings when you save them. Either way. And see how I adjust the colors and stuff? That's what you do on Battlefield by Company 2. That's the game we're doing. But this is a bad quality video my friend sent me, but I couldn't fix anything of that. But I'm saying, also, um, 
I have a video already made from this format and this is like original video from the easy cap but I took it and zoomed it up and did everything see I'm just in the RBG make sure that is set and that's the way you set the colors uh, the contrast you don't have to go low on it see what I'm showing you how to adjust it right now and this is the way I did it for Battlefield Back in the two videos to make them look 720 HD uh, see I'm showing you right now because that's the way you want to adjust them either way that's uh that's the color up there the other one was to contrast to make it lower on the contrast but I'm gonna show you how to adjust it that's where I'm adjusting the color to make it brighter you can see it on the right side of the screen that's what you do like I learned from this guy video either way but I adjust it higher when I do with the colors but make sure you look at that part of that screen there to adjust the colors to make it increase brightable you're making this in 720 to make it pretty nice it's not it's actually 720 HD colors it's very good pretty decent quality it helps up to touch up your videos from your easy cap there you gotta adjust that for the the darker the contrast but I made the contrast is brighter on this yeah see how I'm making the contrast brighter you can make it darker but I use just adjust the way you want to like it for your eye field to people to see because they're looking at a video of full link or small link either way so you can make it darker either way this way but I always adjust it a little bit brighter because since there's a lot of little dark areas in the game when you do it on the easy cap things but not for the other video pro players you do but this program will actually will work on a lot of good systems either way on a Mac this is running on a Mac mini um, OS 10 Snow Leopard right here this one I'm showing you to adjust here the the saturation just you gotta make sure that is all the way just center to the left amount to the right uh, make sure spread is uh, select to the right there those are the settings you want to make the color increase in brightable in HD colors. You can either adjust the low or high to get the quality a little bit up if you want to make it a little bit better. You can do it either way. And that's so I'm showing you how to adjust these things. You see how you can see it brighter on the screen, but I'm talking about if you have a nice good quality video you did on EasyCap, you can make it a lot better what you have from the original file. But I always keep the original file to look at it between you to the difference. But it helps you to see what the guys are in the positions in the game. See, I'm showing you how to adjust these things. That's what I'm doing. I know it's taking some time. But that's what it is. Also, you adjust your sharpness. Make sure you look at the screen what sharpness you want to be a perfect level. The higher it is, the better it goes. But you don't want to over sharpen it because it looks like crappy sharpness and make it too sh very sharp. You want to adjust about perfect right, maybe above the center, right between those areas, like in the upper areas, somewhere around there, where I'm showing you where I'm wiggling it around. But if you adjust it way too high, I'll show you that's what happens when you adjust it too, way too high. You have to adjust a little bit down between somewhere in these areas. Along these areas, you can probably get pretty perfect words on the words. I have a video actually will show it very well. Because it was one of our matches we actually did on game battles. Right now, I'm showing you where I'm going to. The last thing you gotta do, or the thing you gotta do, make sure you go to render as. Yeah, render. Go to render right there. But make sure you do this before you start on your doing your videos and stuff. Uh, before you do all the adjustments. Yeah, this is render. Make sure those settings are perfect. That's how you're gonna set them in in the HD mode in 720. You gotta make sure it but make sure this is always sets those settings right there doesn't matter but make sure it's always set those settings doesn't matter either way but that's what I'm showing you all these things in here but after this goes past so I'll tell you a little bit more what you gotta do but the render means this is what you gotta save as your file but this way wait is this render? Yeah, this is project properties. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, it's pro it's project properties I'm showing. You. Yeah. You gotta go to the project properties first. That's what I'm showing you. That's project properties. You gotta go to um properties in there when you do it. Yeah, render will be the last thing to do. This is not render, this is project properties. You have to make sure those are set. I'll leave all those things to default. This is project properties. It's not render as. Sorry about that, guys. I was mistaken. 
Because you got to make sure. This is what it'll tell you everything you have to do. Yeah, you make sure everything is set in there. Everything's right in there. All the cool stuff. Yeah, just follow what it shows on the video when you see it on the screen. This is how you're going to make it very perfect video on good quality. I'm showing you how to make it better. Just follow my steps either way. This is project properties. Yeah, this is the prop. Yeah, you got to make sure everything's okay for this because it'll be put in your files and stuff. Yeah. That was render as. Wait, yeah, that's pro that's project properties. I showed you it again. It's the same thing I was showing you. It's not render as, but you can make sure that is set for those settings either way. But it'll be on that settings either way, like uh, what I'm showing you. Yeah, that's what I'm showing you. The, uh, the HD quality right there. That's what you want to set it on. Um, you want to set it as um, uh, HD HDV. 723p that's what you want 12 by 80 times 720 29 FTS that's what I was showing you what, what, what you got to do you have to make sure those settings are always set for the settings now I'm showing you render as this is render as and this is where you want to save the file in the, for, in the video format you want to do you want to make sure that is set in Windows Media uh, uh, Media Video 11 because Windows Media File will actually read it on YouTube if you're going to upload it on YouTube. It'll actually come out very good. But this is like you're taking it from an MPEG file from the EasyCat. Make sure those are checked off, except that one you want to keep up there. Then after that, what you got to do, um, you got to hit Custom. This is the way you want to set it. And look at the settings I'm setting it right now. CBR, you want to make sure that is set to that. That's the audio and the video format, and also you want to, anything above 192 is pretty nice good quality of the audio. That's what's running out of your sound card. That's what's running out of the video to make it very. That's like CD quality you're listening to right there. Anything above that, it's okay, or anything around that range is pretty nice. You don't want it too low on the audio because it'll make it sound kind of crappy. Also. I'm showing you all the things, what it is, what it shows, but leave that until you have to do the last thing bit, which you got to put the quality video you want set. You click on video. I think this is the one I'm talking about. I'm looking at it right now. Um, no, you don't need to adjust anything in these. Uh, this is this is video. Yeah, this one you have to adjust things. Uh, Make sure it's around those areas, around 30 frame rate, not 29. Make sure the sharpness is all the way up, video smoothness, all the way to sharpness, 100%. Uh, leave those alone, but the the frame rate, so I can see what it says, 30, 30,000. Make sure it's on that. Uh, make sure the it's under Windows Media Format, either way, the way it's showing on here. Uh, that's the way you got to do it. Also, the bit rate, this is the most important thing. Make sure you click the internet land. Make sure that is checked. All of the other ones are checked off. Because that's the way it's going to run the full video at the full link. That's the way the requirements. That's how they run it on YouTube. You could do it on all those videos. Make sure internet land is checked. I recommend to keep that check. Also, event summary. I don't think you have to adjust anything in there. Let me see. No, you don't have to touch anything in there. Project is the one you have to adjust. You want to set that to best video quality. And see that up there? Best video quality. And hit OK. Hit cancel. Um, make sure that is that proper setting the way I'm showing you. Alright. It was the one that video before, the one that I showed you the project properties. You have to make sure that is set for the. HD DVD 720 30p 12 by 80 times 720 29 FTS. That's what you want to set it on when you do the. When I showed you the video, I I thought it was render as, but it was not. So make sure that you make sure you set those settings. What I showed you, the HD DVD, because you can put them in the 1080p if you want. But yeah. Well, you guys have a good one. Um, I really appreciate it. But take, just look at the video I showed you, what you got to do to make it nice. 
and also 